Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating the installation of yet another version of BOSS Linux that is the BOSS and Indian GNU Linux distribution developed by CDEC and is customized to suit Indian digital environment and supports most of the Indian languages that is the BOSS Mool. So in the previous videos, I have already demonstrated about BOSS desktop and the advanced server. Now in this video, I will be moving towards the third variant that is BOSS Mool. And in my coming video, I will be demonstrating regarding the Edu Boss that is specially focused for the Indian schools. So before we go with the uh, installation of BOSS Mool on Oracle VirtualBox, let us first of all uh, know how to download BOSS Mool and uh, what is actually meant by BOSS Mool. So click on this boss mool by coming to this main website that is bosslinux.in. So you can see that boss mool, mool stands for minimalistic object oriented Linux aims at redesigning the Linux kernel to reduce coupling and increase maintainability by means of object oriented abstractions. So you can see that if I see and able to judge that what is this distribution, this distribution is basically for those who are the Linux developers who have basically works on C++ and basically wants to program their own customized kernel. So for that, this Linux is very good. So if you want to download, you can click on this download now. And I have already downloaded it on my desktop. So you can find over here. If I click on properties, it is about 2.771 GB. So it's a very heavy distribution as compared to other bosses. So let us uh, start with the installation part. So click on Oracle VirtualBox. I click on new and I type in boss mole operating system. So I type Linux and version I set it that is other Linux that is 64 bit. So click on next and I allocate 1 GB of RAM. You can even allocate 2 GB or 4 GB. So click on next, click on create, click on next, next. And I recommend to allocate at least 15 GB of hard disk drive. So click on create. And now let us power on this machine. Click on start. So almost the same uh, steps that is click on browse. I go to desktop that is BOSS 5.13 i386 DVD BOSS mool. So click on open and I click on start. I click on view and full screen mode. So now you can see that the BOSS uh, again you can find that almost the same interface which we have uh, enjoyed into BOSS desktop and the BOSS advanced server. So let us start with the installation that is click on install BOSS graphically and press enter. So let us wait for the opening page and after that we see. So before I proceed, let me tell you that uh, almost all the distributions which I have already installed of BOSS Linux, that is BOSS Linux desktop and the BOSS Linux that is advanced server, they have the same interface as we have enjoyed into Kali Linux. So I think so that this interface could be like a Kali Linux. So it can take some time. So we have to wait for the installation to start. So till it uh, starts, let me pause the video for some time. So now you can see that it is starting up the system log daemon. So it has taken me about four minutes to start the this part. So I think so that it is heavily loading the files. So it is starting the log daemon that is syslogd, that is system logging daemon and klogd. So I can say that it is somewhat uh, very heavy and somewhat very slow to start. The cursor is blinking at the down of the screen you can see. But we have to wait. And I can say that uh, seeing the basic part, the installation even can take much time. So it is trying to enable the frame buffer. So I recommend that your system should be 64 bit. Your uh, PC operating system that is uh, should be 64 bit and you should be able to install 64 bit of VirtualBox. So it has started up the loggings and at any time we can be seeing the graphical user interface. So I think so that uh, I need lots and lots of patience to install it. So wait, wait and wait. So I will be writing an email after this to Boss Linux that to uh, reduce the time of this. So 
you can find the first uh, GUI interface has come and my god that uh, it is very slow very very slow so it, you can see that the mouse pointing is very slow so we have to select English so I click on continue slow version so I recommend to at least allocate 4 GB of RAM so click on continue on the location so now we have to configure the keyboard so again the default that is US English so almost you can see that the same steps are there so I'm facing some lag in my system even though my system is having 8 GB of RAM so might be it is heavy but we have to be here so now it is detecting the hardware to find the CD-ROM drives So it is detecting the hardware, loading the modules. So you can say that the Ditto installation is there of uh, Boss Mool with desktop and advanced server. So now it is scanning the CD-ROM. So it is going some slow so I just pause the video for some time and uh, I return back when it uh, comes to the installation. So now you can see that it is installing the components and I have increased the RAM also to 3 GB so now you can see that it is working very fine. So I recommend that at least 3 GB of RAM is required by this distribution. 4 GB would be good enough. So make it sure that your system should be very much nice, very, very nice. So now it is configuring the network. Let's wait for some time. So now we have to configure the hostname so hostname could be boss itself so click on continue so I give the domain name as boss itself continue so the full name of the new user let me give my name okay so user account will be Anand's my name will be okay and let me type the password so it is setting up the clock from NTP So detecting the disks, now we have to partition. So I just go with the first option that is guided use entire disk. So I click on continue. And the hard disk is detected, so click on continue. All files in one partition, it is okay for us. And I click on continue. And I click yes for writing the changes to the disk. So click on continue. So now you can see that it is installing the system. So it will take about three to four minutes to install the system. So till it installs, let me pause the video for some time. So now you can see that it is configuring the MySQL server and it is demanding the new password for MySQL root user. So let me give the password as the same as root. And I repeat the password. 
so it is configuring MySQL Server version 5.5. So this is a new experience for myself also that I have not seen any distribution who has configured MySQL during installation. So it's the first Linux in my career, in my video history. So it is configuring the package manager now and it is installing the bootloader. So let me click on install the bootloader. So keep it default that is yes. So click on continue. So I think so that we are almost on the verge of completion of this installation. And yes, it is finishing the installation and it is setting up the users and passwords which we have uh, created. That is root and with my name. Setting up the hardware clock in eTramFS. Yes, we are done. We are almost done. So I can say that uh, this is one of the Linux which demands huge quantity of RAM, huge, huge quantity. So with this 3 GB of RAM which I have allocated, uh, you can say that the system was running now fine, but uh, 4 GB RAM would suffice everything. So installation is complete, so you can uh, take off the media, so click on continue. So now you can see that it is going down and let us welcome with the yes so now you can see a very good green interface and uh, with the new kernel that is Bose GNU oblique Linux with Linux 3.12.23 so let's press enter and let's see how much fast it is so same interface like we have in CentOS or in uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 also or in Fedora so you can see Boss GNU Linux 5.1 Anoka Anoka is an Indian name. So Anoka means that uh, something unique. So again a Red Hat like interface was there. So let us uh, click on other and let me log in with the root. With the password. So a cool sound has come. So okay. Uh, let me go with this my username itself so boss mole is there Bharat open operating system solutions and let us welcome the genome desktop so let me go over this okay so applications accessories we have tons of accessories games we have that is solita chess five free cell lights of quadra pastel sukudo swell flop and trigger for graphics we have GNU Paint, we have Office itself under there. So for the internet we have the Chrome browser, Evolution Outlook based thing, Icewell web browser which we find into Kali Linux, Peregrine Internet Messenger and XChat. For Office again we have the LibreOffice as well as a presentation tool and for the programming we have the Anjuta. For sound and uh, video we have uh, the XVMC which is for the media center, VLC player, so a fully loaded so GNU C view for you can say for your uh, Webcam view is there. Bunchy for music player. So for system uh, tools, we have the good administration. That is, everything is there. And for the preference, we again have the different settings. So everything is fully loaded. So, and for the places, we have this file system. So I can say that uh, this is one of the heaviest Linux which I have installed. It demands good RAM, but the interface is cool. It is fully loaded. So in this video, I have uh, made you install regarding Boss Mool version. Uh, so do like this video. Do share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.